Hey followers, it's your girl Rachel Friend. I'm back with another video. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Okay, you guys, so as you can see from the title, this is going to be all about gaining and growing your confidence, especially if you're a plus size baddie like me. I know it's very hard sometimes for young women or just any type of women to grow confidence, and here are some tips to help you do so. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you keep watching. And if you're new to my channel, this channel is always about fashion, hair, makeup, all of that good stuff definitely giving you baddie of all trade vibes. So if that's something that you like, please consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications so anytime I upload a video, you get a notification. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. Let's get right into the video. Okay, you guys, so we're going to do some makeup while we do this because why not? Hello, why not? I'm actually going to pop open a, fill, a hair video for this hair. So if you're wondering why I got this cute little top knot with this 4C hair, there will be a video for this up on Wednesday um, this week. So just so you know, okay? <laughs> All right. So um, let's talk confidence. Now, I have had confidence for a very long time, but you know, sometimes it takes time to grow and sometimes um, you may be in situations where that confidence may dwindle or that confidence may go away somehow, some way. Sometimes that happens. You may gain weight, you may lose weight, you're just not used to it because sometimes, you know, you're just not used to it. You know what I mean? Um, so I think what's most important, important about being confident is being confident, confident, confident is being confident in the way that you are today, like the person you are today, right? So let's say you want to drop a few pounds, you want to drop 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 100 pounds. I still think it's important for you to be in yourself today and love who you are today because self-loathing and not having self-worth is going to beat up your mental. So I just think it's really important and that's why I want to share some tips with you guys. One of the tips, one of the main tips that I have for me and something that I just do in forms of um, positive affirmations is just literally look in the mirror and think about all the things that are beautiful about me. Um, and if that's something that you can't do right now, if you can't do all of the things, look at one thing. Look at the way you smile. Look at the way your eyes are. Look at the, I don't know, the way your hips curve. The way, you know, you have may have perfect teeth. Or if you, um, what's another example of something? You have nice hands. Like, literally pick something that you know is gorgeous on you and build from there. And just make sure you look at it every day and just say, you know what? This and you know, you know what? that's okay I have pretty teeth that's okay I have pretty eyes like a nice beautiful eye shape that's okay I have great thick eyebrows because if you got thick eyebrows <laughs> I'm jealous <laughs> not I, I'm jealous okay um so that's something that you can do and I suggest you do that every morning when you wake up think about all the beautiful things about you and if you only start with one thing add another thing the next day and add another thing the next day so every day you're adding on a new thing about you that is gorgeous, something that you love, right? Second tip I would say is to, when I say get out of your comfort zone on this one, what I mean is, let's say you're usually, how, how can I put this so that it makes sense? All right, let's say that you're usually someone who's a little bit more uh modest in dressing if you're like oh i don't want this to show i don't want that to show even if you don't go outside challenge yourself every day to purchase one item that you want to grow towards wearing so if you have um a big tummy um try a crop top if you have you know whatever it may be Pick an item that you want to grow toward wearing and then every day or every week or once a week, put that item on and just look at yourself in it. Try to love yourself in it. You don't have to show it to anyone, but this is just for yourself because honestly, confidence is all about self and being for yourself and growing for yourself. So one thing about it is if you're comfortable in your skin and you're wearing something that you know people may ugh about when you wear it a certain way 
it transforms to people's mind that you look good as hell in it. You understand what I'm saying? If that makes sense. So like, let's say I'm wearing like a crop top or whatever like that. Stomach out, belly out, you know. And I'm wearing it like, and I'm wearing it as if like, I'm saying like, yeah, I look good in this and what, you're mad. You have to have that energy about you. And I don't want to say like bad bitch energy, but that literally is like bad bitch energy. Like you want to be like, you want to put that on and just look at yourself and be like, and? So what if I got a roll? So what if I got back roll? So what if I got this? So what if I got that? And? And? I look good. I look good no matter what. Have a goal date of when you want to go ahead and actually challenge yourself to wear it outside. And that could help grow your confidence. I really do think so. Um... So more so, number th okay, so that's number two. So then number three, I would say, it's just positive affirmations. You can find these things online. You can find these things anywhere. But just like say, telling yourself that you're beautiful or telling yourself, you know, especially if something happens where you're like, let's say you have a crush on a guy and he, you know, might not show interest. Instead of thinking of like, what about me? Is it that he don't like? Think about it as, look, this guy doesn't want to deal with, doesn't want me. And that's his loss. Because I'm amazing, I'm smart, I'm beautiful, I have good grades, I have, you know, a good head on my shoulders, like, I love, I don't know, whatever your hobbies are, or, and I'm good at this, or I love sports, or I love, like, think about things like that. Don't think about, like, rejection in a sense as a negative thing, that's like, what's wrong with me? Think about it in a way of, like, well, you lost out, on to the next, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you have to switch that mentality of it being, like, what's wrong with me? Why doesn't he like me? To like, you know what? That's all right. <laughs> you ain't deserve poo. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta give off that energy. You ain't deserve poo. So it's it's go. Cool. You ain't deserve poo. That's it. You ain't deserve poo. That's it. That's how I do it. <laughs> like, oh my, like, especially when you're a bigger girl. Like, in the, I I have never had a hard time in a dating scene because I already have that energy. But I've heard like girls or even just my friends that it makes me sad. That they would say like, yo, like he don't want me because I'm fat, and it's like, boo, no, it's mad guys out here that like big girls, mad at them that genuinely don't care like big girls. If he don't like you, it's 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 literally his loss. It's literally his loss. I promise you, cause you're amazing, and that's what we grow into. We're telling ourselves how amazing we are. He don't like you because he's whack. <laughs> how about that? I don't say that to him, but that's just, you know, something to make you feel better, like, to understand, like, don't look at these things as a negative, like, you know what, on to the next, because I'm still a baddie, and he missing out. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep eye contact, but I'm trying to do my makeup, and I'm so proud of how well I've been doing my makeup while talking, can we get into it, <laughs> okay? Look, just like that, you, I just praise myself, just easy, it's, it's, it's easy. Once you get used to it, it's gonna be easy, and if you're not used to praising yourself, you got to get used to it. Like powder this up. I'm not going to go into the next one because I know I'm about to hit the brows. And it just cannot happen on camera. Like, I don't, it can, but it, I don't like All right, you guys, so I'm going to go quickly do my brows and prime my eyelids because we're going to throw some eyelashes on. And, I mean, eyeshadow on. And we'll come right back and we're going to, um, I'm going to tell you guys some more to add on your list to becoming more confident. Why did I say it like Whatever. Hey guys, so I'm back. I did my brows, primed my lids, and all that goody good. And we're gonna go back into confidence talk because we gonna be some confident. Me, me, me. All right, so I'm going in with my Gentle Door Butte palette. This is a black-owned brand. I just wanna spotlight them real quick. And this is how the palette looks. Very colorful and very gorgeous. Very pigmented. <laughs> very much a bomb. Okay. So I'm just going to do like a neutral kind of look. I don't want nothing too, too crazy because, I don't know, I just, it's fall. Like, I don't know, I don't want any colors like that, you know? The next one, I think, may be a little bit hard, especially for people who may care what other people think about them. This is something that you have to really break from because you ain't doing it right if ain't nobody talking to you, talking about you. And I know it sounds like that's like cliche, but it's super true. You have to, like my best friend would say, give these bitches dust, okay? You don't pay them no mind. You don't, like, don't say nothing to them. Don't, someone that says something about you, oh well. Like, you really have to build that. And I know that's going to be hard for some people. So I think this might be hard, the hardest for some. Like, you literally cannot care 
what people may say or think about you. Um, I've dealt in, I've had so many situations where I've had people like throw dirt on my name, like, cause the girls is haters, okay? Um, that's just how I view that. But you always want to make sure that you can like literally, even if it hurts you, you have to have a process in you where you bring it back, okay? So, for example, when, um, you know, when something like that happens and someone's talking about me, I'm like, oh, look, not talk about them, but like, I just feel like, mm, girl, you wish you was me. Like, or something like that, because honestly, there's several types of people in this world, and the people that really care about you and care about your well-being are just like good people. They won't do anything to make you feel bad. So, like, you don't want to, especially in the age of social media, you don't want to pay attention to the negativity, especially when you have so much positivity. I know that's hard, y'all. I promise. Because I used to not necessarily care, but I'm a cancer. My feelings get hurt easy. My feelings used to get hurt so easy. Oh, well, if I cared about you. If I don't care about you, then I don't care about you, would you say? But if, like, you know, people, you know, I take things personal. I take things offensive. Like, I'd be like, oh, you're trying to blame me. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's something that you have to work toward um, in order to keep and grow your confidence. Because if you're not able to do that, somebody's going to be able to, whatever progress you make when you're trying to grow your confidence, someone may be able to take you down a few levels on where you're growing yourself to be more confident because they said something that, you know, they brought out a flaw about you or they brought out something about you that, you know, brings out whatever insecurity you may have. Because you know what? Let me say something. Most people, I don't know, if you, you might be a bionic human if you are confident with n zero flaws. Like, you just, like, because no one is perfect. So everyone is going to have a flaw. Everyone is going to have something that they wish they could change about themselves. That is natural. But you want to make sure that that little something that you change about yourself is this small to you. It's okay, and okay, I got a snaggle tooth. And okay, my feet are big. And 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 you know what I mean like you have to give that energy can we get into this blend though because I just got quiet and distracted because this is a crazy blend like these colors just together honey child okay okay so the next one and this is something that I still work on to this day just because like I'm a human being so number six is you want to make sure that you love on yourself I feel like and this is what I mean okay so I feel like sometimes as human beings I am a I am totally guilty of this we will may hear something about ourselves or think something about ourselves and we continually repeat it to ourselves or we're continually mean to ourselves so the basic the, the base of what I'm trying to say is be nice to yourself so um and that can be in so many ways. That could be physically, like if you want to take yourself out on a date um, by yourself. I honestly promote solo dates. That is what I believe in being nice to yourself. I have done that before. Like I was, I'm down, I'm, I, I feel some type of way and I just want to go out and love on myself, treat myself, uh, uh, take myself to dinner. I have sat at dinners by myself before. I sure have. I sure have. And I sure will if I need to going to retail therapy but don't do it if you don't got it sis I ain't about to be responsible for your credit card bill but uh things like that take yourself out do things that you know that'll make you feel better do things that you know that'll make you feel gorgeous or do like you know you want to do that because let me tell you something at the end of the day self-confidence is so important is because you have to live in your own skin no one has to live in your skin but you and just that right there the fact that you got to live you get to live in you is what makes you unique to the world i don't care about nothing else the fact that you get to know your thoughts you get to know who you are is what makes you unique just in, just period i don't care about none of that other stuff i don't care about talent or none of that just the fact that you get to wake up as you makes you special and it makes you unique because no one else can wake up as you and in your body no one else if someone figures that shit out we're up shit's creek but seriously <laughs> no one else can be you but you and to me no matter who you are that's a flex 
it's really important to go out and love yourself and enjoy your own company because once you do that you'll learn all the good things about you so in essence it's like know yourself love yourself treat yourself okay because that's very important when it comes to being confident especially as a woman especially as a plus size woman you want to love yourself love everything that you have about yourself love it i promote love i think they're calling it radical self-love like no matter what happens or what i look like i love myself and i think that's super important look at how far my eyes i love how this came out okay just to talk to you period i'm feeling myself okay hello hello but laugh at yourself laugh with yourself enjoy literally like try to enjoy yourself take things day by day um and enjoy yourself laugh joke but now don't joke because you're worried that other people are going to joke about you so you joke on yourself at first because there's a thin line between that you don't want to beat up on yourself because you're afraid that someone else is going to beat up on you um and 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 and, and, and adding to that uh stick up for yourself try to stick up for yourself if someone says something about you especially if you're like in high school or in those type of environments where just people are just mean just because they they woke up today or whatever they may be going through because you never know and who cares but still um stick up for yourself you don't have to fight you don't have to hit anyone but just say hey do not talk to me like that do not do that to me do not say that to, i don't like that leave me alone like i i know it sounds like super uh you know i know it's not easy basically i know that's not easy to just be like you know what leave me alone like <laughs> leave me alone i don't i don't like when you do that to me and that's it now if someone puts their hands on you you know what anyway uh because i'm talking to the high schoolers with that one if you're watching this and i shouldn't be telling y'all that but if there's somebody put your hands on i'm just saying don't let nobody put their hands on you and that's on period <laughs> and I'm dead serious. I'm gonna be one of them type of mothers. Like, uh uh, uh uh. People can say whatever they want about you. Don't touch me. Do what, you know, do to your, treat yourself how you want others to treat you. Not just treat others how you want to be treated, but treat yourself how you would like to be treated. Like, love, like, I hope that makes sense, like, what I'm trying to say. That is a really important, you guys. Really important. Um, I think that was my last one that I had written down. Uh, so what I'm about to do is I'm just gonna quickly because that was my last one. I'm about to I'm done basically. I'm about to just do my lashes and my brow. I'm about to do my lashes, my eyeliner, and all of that good stuff. Put my lipstick on, and then we'll come back and we'll close it out. Okay, guys. So I am finished with my makeup, and I just put on a like quick little sweater and finished filming another video and whatever, whatever. Okay, so yeah, those are my tips on how to becoming a confident baddie, no matter what. Um, and make sure you try these, you guys, because it really does work, in my opinion. Um, I want everybody to be confident. I want everybody to love the skin that they are in, because, like I said, you are your, you're the only person that gets to be you. And that's a flex in itself. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to join that flower gang gang by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!